I've spoken to Frobisher and Curran, and since I'm a trustee, should the estate ever need one, we felt I ought to be the one to tell you. You make it sound very serious. I'm expressing myself badly if you think it is not serious. Why did we invest so much? Lord Grantham, it was you who insisted we should, if you remember, we advised against it. But war would mean a huge expansion of railways everywhere. Every forecast was certain. Rail shares were bound to make a fortune. Many did, but your principal holding, which was very large indeed, was in the Canadian Grand Trunk Line. It was the main railway in British North America, for God's sake. It wasn't just me. Everyone said we couldn't lose. We knew hard times were coming for estates like Downton, and this investment would make it safe for the rest of time. Charles Hayes was the presiding genius, and since he died, the management has not. The fact is, the company is about to be declared bankrupt, and the line will be absorbed into the Canadian National Railway Scheme. Are you really telling me that all the money is gone? I'm afraid so. The lion's share of Cora's fortune. I won't give in, Murray. I've sacrificed too much to Downton to give in now. I refuse to be the failure. The Earl who dropped the torch and let the flame go out. I hate to state the obvious, but if there's not enough money to run it, Downton must go. Unless you break it up and sell it off piecemeal. I couldn't do that. I have a duty beyond saving my own skin. The estate must be a major employer and support the house or there's no point to it, to any of it.